Hello guys, today I want to show you a video based on one of the Laracast forum question. It's about a pivot table and how to make an accessor or mutator or attribute on pivot table because pivot table is not a model by default. And I created a demo project which basically looks like this. So you have some projects with fake data and you have some users with fake data and then you need to assign projects to users with some additional fields. Like for example, when that user starts on that project. And accessor and mutator could be a classical example like adding data to the form is in different date format. So you need to convert from whatever date format to year, month, date and then back to whatever format get and set. And this is the actual query that would run. Here I am in my Tinkerwell. Actually, I realized that Tinkerwell is really convenient for me to run some queries like this instead of creating a page or API endpoint in the project. So we create a project and we attach a user with start from date, but in this format. But it should be saved in the database in a normal database format. But when we get back, it should be converted back start from to this format. So I have run this example and I can run it again. And the result is this. Although in the database, I've run it a few times and all the times the date format is correct. Now, how does it look in the code? So this is the model project with belongs to many relationship function. Did you know that you can generate a pivot model, a specific model for pivot tables? It is not required by default, but if you do want to have some customizations on pivot model fields, like in this case, accessors and mutators. First, of course, you define with pivot and then extra columns here and then using generated model. You can generate that model with just general make model, but it should not extend the model. Instead, it should extend pivot. And then on that pivot table, you can add attributes, accessors and mutators. In this case, I'm using the syntax of Laravel 9 get and set with attribute, but you can also do get start from attribute and set start from attribute in older syntax. The logic is the same. You create the value from database format and format it to show on the front end. And then while setting that the other way around from initial user based format to the database. And then you can run queries like this. So if we go start from 22nd, for example, we run and it's returned like this. So that's it. A quick tip. You can generate models specifically for pivot tables and then implement some of a typical model logic like accessors inside of it. If you want more tips on Eloquent or other Laravel topics, I have a separate repository called Laravel Daily Laravel Tips and divided by sections. There are a lot of tips, more than 300 tips, and it's time for me to update that as well. I will do that after Laravel 10 is released. And the biggest section by far is models and eloquent. So you can find a lot of interesting things inside. Here you can see the table of contents and I will link the repository in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.